Good morning, world. Hi, Facebook. What's up, everybody? Good morning. Happy Monday, May 22nd. It is actually my oldest daughter birthday today. So happy birthday to her. Of course, I've already sent her a, a, a voice clip message because that's what I do. Um, happy Monday. Oh, I had a great weekend. I It's always a little weird going away for the weekend and then coming back. It's interesting how it's like a different world sometimes, right? Like my dog's eating, of course. Um, you know, you go away and depending on where you go, sometimes even close to home. Like I said, I was only two hours south um, at my cousin's house this weekend at her new place. But it's still interesting how it felt like another world, you know, um, and coming back. Not quite as much as going on some bigger trips, um, like when I went to Jupiter or even going to Jeep Beach in Daytona. I didn't go this year, but I went last year. Um, my goal is to go again next year. You know, so it's, it's always interesting. Do you feel that way? Do you feel like... Well, you know, when you go away, especially the farther away you go from home, um, and then you come back, it feels like you just were in a different world. And really, you were, you know, um, if you think about it. So I like it, though, because even though it's a little, I want to say, discombobulated, I don't know if that's quite the right term, but that's what's come to mind right now. Um, you know, just a little thrown off. When you get back into the swing of things, when you start back on Monday, there's also a, um, like, I feel refreshed, like, re-energized also, you know? So, like, I'm not just doing the same old thing every day and, you know, feeling like I'm in the rat race. I don't, I don't want to feel like that. When I start feeling like that, I start getting itchy. I start wanting to do things, um, let's have so are you hanging out um facebook delays it doesn't always tell me who's on or if they're on or if they're still on it's just weird but um anyway let's set the timer get our morning mental prep on for it. again this monday may 22nd all right guys Oh, excuse me. Aries. All right. I didn't read yesterday. I was gonna. Oh, goodness. So I'm gonna go um, a little wild today and I'm gonna read yesterday's and today's um, mental prep. Today's is very short. It's only one sentence. Um, be curious. <laughs> this is how I approach everything out of curiosity. Less and less out of fear and out of curiosity. Curiosity will take you on adventures far and wide. Be open to it. Just think about how much differently you'll see things and experience things if you come from a place of curiosity and not fear. If you're afraid, you're less likely to do it. Although that's what I'm encouraging is get up there and face your fucking fears. Face everything and rise. When you're not facing it, you need to ask yourself why. What am I afraid of? For me, my question is what am I afraid of? What is the worst that could happen? As soon as I ask that question, I think back to my life <laughs> and I'm like, gosh, I, other than death. And I don't think that's the worst that could happen to me because I'm not afraid of death. I'm curious about death. I'm not going out there to, you know, like I said, run in front of a bus. I'm sad for those who may miss me, right? Love me. But, uh, 
I, you know, so when I ask myself, what's the, for me, now not everyone has the same kind of life experience that you can say, gosh, I've already been through the fucking worst. So let's just, that's where I'm at with it. I've already been through the worst of the worst. You know what I mean? The first 12 years of my life can't, you know, are you kidding me? Even as an adult, being in that kind of situation would be better than a child. Not that I'm at, like, that's, I don't say that lightly, okay? But in the first 12 years of your life, think about what you're learning during that time, right? I wasn't learning those things. <laughs> I, wasn't, I, I don't even know how I've, I've stayed sane because I was not learning. This is why I don't do the kitchen. I don't cook. I can't, I can't cook. I mean, I can, I, I can cook. I can cook to stay alive. I can, I'm okay at it. I'm okay, just barely okay at it. It's not gonna taste bad um, or anything like that. It's just if, if I get it without burning it, <laughs> without overcooking it, without undercooking it, you know, I can fucking burn. What did I just burn recently that was so egg? So, not egg, so easy. Gosh, I don't even remember what it was. Cinnamon rolls, not that long ago. Like, you just, like, you don't even both. You put them in the oven. Turn it on, put a timer on. I did. Still burnt them, motherfuckers. Let me just tell you. That, you know, so be curious. You know, be curious about what may be on the other side if you push through. You know? All right, I'm gonna read yesterday's too. It talks about alignment, which is huge. And I can feel when I get in alignment with things that I'm supposed to be doing. And, and when I'm facing those fears, man, I feel like I'm lining up with exactly, because I, I feel good, I feel good. Um, you know, in the moment facing that fear, you still get those nervous feelings and that's, you know, all that comes with it, sweaty palms, upset stomach, whatever else you get, you know, but I understand now that that is something that is really out of my control. That fear and what I'm afraid of either isn't happening any longer or hasn't even happened yet. So it's a false fear, right? False evidence appearing real. So when I, when I go through those processes, when fear comes up, I feel myself aligning with my higher self <laughs> for the highest good. So alignment. To be in alignment is to allow yourself to believe that whatever you want is actually possible. <laughs> to have faith in what you may not yet be able to visualize. To speak as if whatever you hope for already exists. To live in a way that invites your dreams to thrive. If you want love, be love. Invite it in by offering it to others. If you seek joy, be joy. Act in a way that is joyful and allow others to experience it alongside you. This is why I share like I do. Because I get so joyous. I have to imagine it's like a childlike joy to me. I, I don't really know what that's like because of my life as a child. Or I don't really remember from my childhood what was that like, that what that was like, because what I remember was not joyous in any stretch of the word. Not even in the same like multi-dimension. <laughs> um but that's why I'm like, oh, this is so joy. It makes me so happy. Let me share it with everybody and bring some joy to them. Right? So <laughs> be what you hope for. Allow whatever is on the inside to be how you live on the outside. This is true alignment. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and that's why I had to read both. I think they go really hand in hand. Because when you, when you are curious, you're going to experience more things that are just going to bring you joy, right? Okay, we got three minutes. Let me see if the Law of Attraction pops something up to me. Um, that hasn't been... <laughs>
Oh, yes. Here we go. <laughs> Remember how it feels to get what you want. When your anticipatory feelings of expectation co coincide with the actual event finally occurring, a heightened state of pleasure sets in. Think of a time when something wonderful happened to you. When you recall that experience, how do you feel? Happy again? Now think about something you deeply desire that you know at some point is going to show up in your life. For example, getting a promotion with a huge pay increase, finding the love of your life, conceiving a child, receiving a scholarship or buying your dream house. The happiness grows in intensity, does it? doesn't it? <clears throat> this is so, this is so, how you feel matters. And um, remember when you're working with the law of attraction, um, thinking positive things, visualizing really what you want. So if I'm going to use my homestead and my earthship as an example. Um, I'm not sure where it's going to be because as much as I want an earth ship, I don't think that's going to happen in Florida. Um, but home, so homesteading is really my ultimate goal. Um, um, I, I want to be completely provide my own food, um, you know, my own water, my own electricity. Um, like I said, to some degree, if I stay in Florida and homestead, that's going to be limited when you start getting into your own water and your own electricity. But that's another conversation. And that's when I start going and looking at land and, and, and things like that. And I'm in that place and I'll start diving a little deeper into those things to determine if how that's going to play out. So what I do right now is I just picture, I know I want three to five acres. Um, I know that I want it partially cleared. I do not want it fully cleared. I want it only cleared enough to where the house, maybe the acre uh, or two around the house, you know, however that works is, is cleared enough like a yard, right? Um, I know I want to provide my own food fruit trees and berry trees and vegetables and and any and cows and chickens and goats and 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 pigs maybe I haven't gotten that far probably because it's I eat pork right my 10 minutes is up so I'm visualizing what it looks like on that on my property I want a natural pool so I'm visualizing what that looks like and I'm feeling what it feels like to be on my land tending to my chickens and petting my cow and having a conversation with my cow and my dogs running around and making sure that the gardens are you know weeded and and you know fed and and loved as much as they need to and you know all of that and what it might smell like and picking the fruits and the beans and the berries and stuff up you know so i'm visualizing this and it's then sure so you start thinking about it and then it's just a just a basic thought no you know you want to start you got to keep thinking about it until you start getting into the moment like i just was thinking and feeling about what does it feel like to be in that what does it look like what does it smell like what does it feel like picking the berries <laughs> like i feel all of this stuff i want a section of grass that is um, no poop or pee for my dogs. I know that pee is going to be a little bit more difficult to contain because they will be in that area. But this is an area where there is, you know, they don't get to just run crazy so that it tears the grass up. I want a full grass area that I'm going to fence, you know, so I'm, <laughs> then you have to think about how you feel and all of these, when you're using your senses, which is right, how you feel, smell, taste, touch. You're magnetizing, you know, that thought. You're, you're magnetizing, your, your, your feelings magnetize your thoughts so that then those things come quicker to you. So it's important. And then anyway, if, you know, it feels good. Why not do it just because it feels good? Oh, because you don't have it now. And so now you get stuck in that, but I don't have it. And how am I going to get there? And I don't have the money and I don't have the time and I'm stuck in this job or... You know, I've got these kids or, 
Mm, these are all excuses and your reasons exactly why you should think about what it is you really want to do and start taking steps to do that. You have the power and all of these things that everybody has, jobs, bills, food, broken down cars, families, school, you know, whatever, extracurriculars, you know, this health issue, that health issue. I don't have this time because I'm working too. Everybody has that shit. Everybody, including myself. But I know what I want to do and that is fulfilling me so much more when I think about not having to leave my house I feel look I love my day job I, I say this I don't want to give anyone the wrong idea in this particular situation in previous jobs let me just tell you I probably wouldn't talk about it actually I didn't talk about it at all because I didn't like them I didn't like anything about it at all nothing um, and so I, I, I was in that place I was that person. I can't. I've got this. How am I going to leave this job? And, you know, things like that. And now I love my job. I love what I do. But it is a ball and chain. Think about it. It is a tool. It is a little bit more than a tool because the people are like family at some, in some cases to me. Um, you know, and I definitely want to always stay connected to them. Um, but I don't want to go be stuck for eight to 10 hours a day in one location. I don't want that to be the way that I have to make money. It doesn't have to be that way because I have options. And so that's why, and, and then also I'm more fulfilled. I'm fulfilled at what I'm doing at my day job more so than other places I've been for sure because we are actually making a difference in people's lives um, by helping them get business credit that they need to help, uh, to grow, to start grow or sustain their business, right? Um, but I got travels. I got, you know, writing. I got, I got Thrive Vitamins to deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I'm not... That is my why. That is exactly why I keep doing what I'm doing. Because I don't want this to be, I don't want to just get up and do, live the same day over and over for 75 years and call it a life. That's not the case. And unfortunately, when you work the kind of job like I do during the day job, like lots of us do, there's kind of no way around, I don't want to say there's no way around that because there is a way around that because you can make the most of it and still have a different day, but it's not, it's still going to be somewhat the same day because you're doing the same thing. This is one of the things that I love about talking to people and sharing Thrive because it's not the same. The conversations are not the same. The experiences are not the same. They might be similar, but they still are very different. And so it is you are doing something different every day. You are experiencing something different every day because you're experiencing someone else's life in which you're impacting for me. So I've done went past my 10 minutes already. So, um, like already. I don't even know what I'm saying. So I'm going to stop. Um, uh, just remember that uh, you have the power. And when you say that you don't, for whatever reason, all you're doing is you're fighting for your limitations. How's that working out for you so far? Nothing changes if nothing changes, man. <laughs> nothing changes if fucking nothing changes. So get out there and change something. I start, I, I recommend starting with a morning routine, morning mental prep, some version that works for you. Um, but also, gratitude. Gratitude is a great way to start. And if you spend... Every day for weeks and months, it's going to naturally evolve into something else like affirmations or writing or, you know, whatever fits you. This is what I often say. I'll say this and then we'll go on to our gratitude. I often say this. I started saying this to my kids. You don't have to use the tools that I use for my self-development and my spiritual growth and, and my um, aligning with my higher self. You don't have to use my tools. <clears throat> But they are a start. They are somewhere for you to start. Then it will naturally lead into other tools. 
the tools that I use have been exactly that, collected from many different podcasts or Lavelle Zooms that I've been on with my Thrive Teams um, because it really is self-development with a paycheck. Um, so start, use it as a starting point. Don't feel like this is what you have to do for the rest of your life and it's just use it as a starting point, as somewhere to start and, 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 and you know, take action on. And then you'll see it's going to lead you to other things, right? So um, a good place to start is gratitude every day. Take five minutes, find five things that you're grateful for that happened in the last, well, 24 to 48 hours, right? <laughs> Over the weekend. Um, I am so grateful for my Jeep and, and, and getting me to Beverly's house in, in Bradenton two hours south with my Jasmine Driving down I-75, I don't like the highway. I'm not used to it anymore because I don't take it anymore since we've been in Florida, really. So it was nerve-wracking. So I'm so grateful for a fairly, for, for pretty much a smooth ride um, to and from Bradenton this weekend. I'm very grateful for that. People were a little crazy, but I was just chill, so I just let them go on. Um, I'm very grateful that my beings, my, those, my mom, my dad, my stepdad, all of those people, they had to be with me on that trip, especially in one instance, because there was a car. He was not the only one. He was the only one that I experienced this kind of thing. So two lanes, right? I'm in the middle lane, person in this lane. Another car come up here and went between us, like that close. We were at 70 miles an hour going down I-75, we were less than a foot away from each other, the three of us, because this car was getting, was swerving in and out of traffic. I slowed down because I was aware. I saw him come. I'm always aware. So I slowed down. And I think that if I hadn't have slowed down, it might have been very different. I didn't slam on my brakes or anything like that. Again, 70 miles an hour on the highway. But I did slow down because I knew what he was doing. And I was like, holy fuck. But one slight little move different. And it, 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 this could have been very bad. So I, I'm always aware. So I have to take some credit. But I also think that um, my guides are with me as well, right? Even if I don't listen to them sometimes. I don't know. All right, I'm out, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Sit in your gratitude. What are you grateful for? <clears throat> Do it every day. Do it with your kids. <laughs> Do it with your spouse, do it with your pets, do it with your plants. You know, do it all the time. And tell me how your life changes, right? I love you guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Like I said, same bat time, same bat channel. And as always, peace and love.